hunting. Uh, it's the day before the opener in Washington State. Uh, modern rifle deer. I'm over on the east side. I just can't get excited about blacktail anymore. So ever since I started hunting mule deers, uh, just the land over here, how tough they are, how hard they are to, 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 to find. Um, so I'm running solo to, uh, this weekend. Jim uh, stayed back. He did some extra elk hunts, so he's saving time for Montana. But uh, I'm just coming out here by myself. I got about three days to hunt as hard as I can. Going in blind to an area I've never been, um, but it's a popular area. So we'll probably see tomorrow how many guys in orange I come across up on the mountains. But uh, um, I'm excited. I haven't done a lot of e-scouting. I've been so busy with work and kids and life that uh, I'm really coming in this one blind. But uh, I know there's deer here. And uh, I'm gonna jump on my Onyx. All I had, about had time to do so far was just download some offline maps. So I'm gonna jump on, uh, pick a couple good lanes for the morning and hope I can get there and start climbing before uh, the other guys do. So uh, looking forward to a good it's, couple uh, days. open morning and uh, I got to my spot that I picked out last night. Uh, E-scouted it, drove in, checked the road, make sure I could get here. A lot of guys were in here last night um, driving around, so I got about 3,000 feet plus between where I'm parked at to the top of this ridge. We're down in this canyon, and uh, it's about two hours before daylight. I'm going to try to get up about 2,000 feet right there in the middle range and uh, get in a good spot to start glassing first thing this morning. So um, optimistic, excited, so I'm going to get after it. Okay, just checking in. I'm up about 1,200 feet from where my truck was. I think I still got about an hour before daylight, but I pick, purposely picked the, the the less ideal finger coming off this ridge line, um, just because I assumed this place was going to be cr crowded. And sure enough, there's there's four other headlamps on the finger coming down next to me, and uh, two clearly different groups are about I don't know five eight hundred feet apart distance but uh yeah so it's gonna be crowded today but that's public public land hunting so all right i'll check back in once i get up here a bit more and find a spot to sit in glass for first light i'm up more about where i wanted to get to by daylight i got about 200 more feet i'm gonna pull right here there's a nice saddle right up above here a little bit that i'm gonna kind of sit on both sides of my, my ridge finger I'm on. There are about four guys over in the ridge to my right. And uh, so that's probably a good thing it's outside of my shooting distance. So uh, maybe they'll just bump some over my direction. I just got up to my glass and spot. It's about 2,000 feet up off the bottom. Big country. Looks beautiful. I don't even know where to start glassing, but take my time and just really pick this apart. Looking forward to it. Had a little sprinkle of rain coming down on us coming up, but uh, it's, uh, the skies are just cloudy right now. It's quiet though. Uh, 
Well, now there's another guy working up the, the ridge to my left. So I got guys on both sides of me, probably behind me and probably in front of me, but uh, I haven't seen anything yet, but the ground looks awesome. There's just a thousand places for these things to hide. So I'm gonna move up about 100, 200 more feet and try to get a better angle on a pocket over here to my right and uh, probably just sit there for uh, quite a while. See if anybody else bumps anything, get them moving. All right guys, just checking in. Still uh, haven't seen anything, nothing moving. So, um, been glassing so much, my eyes are getting, uh, getting sore, so. Clouds are uh, moving in, skies are kind of getting grayed pretty dark gray on me right above me and uh, back behind me over to the west looks like there's some rain coming down over there so getting a little nervous I worked up a little bit more of a sweat pull on this hill this morning than I wanted to and uh, been kind of chilly ever since so but uh, I'm gonna move up a couple hundred yards get a different uh, look at everything and well still nothing up on their feet I haven't seen a thing moving today except for other hunters. It is just dead calm today. Not a speck of wind or nothing. It's part of this guy's camp. He's one of the lights I saw up on the hill this morning. Looks like about four or five other hunters though I spotted coming down off the top of the, the ridge. So there's a road up there. It takes a while to get to it. So. But uh, I'm gonna start peeling over, try to peel over to another ridge line. See what I come across. Well, just behind me is glass and another hunter sitting over there which was the direction I wanted to roll those fingers behind me. And uh, sure enough, he take a sh took a shot. So actually he took three shots, but uh, he put something down. He uh, grabbed his stuff and he boogied down into the brush after it. So uh, good for him. Still haven't seen anything up on their feet. So, but uh, clear clearly there's, uh, there's deer in the area. So he knew what he was doing. He was sitting there waiting for him, so. So I'm gonna push on the other direction now. Well, sure enough, I tried to uh, cross over, go down another finger. It's gonna side hill and uh, wouldn't you know it, I uh, come right across another uh, hunter, so. I'm gonna drop down about 500 feet and uh, see if I can't cross underneath them. And, a little too crowded for me so this is some beautiful country i can see why it's uh, so hard to draw the quality tag in this unit it'd be a lot of fun to hunt them later in the season but uh they're here i'm sure i saw well i saw that guy kill one earlier so kudos to him he's the one that got lucky today um my plan was that he would jump that thing and push him right to me. But uh, that plan didn't come through. But still picked a good lane, but I don't think I'll be back here tomorrow. It's, uh, well, I could have just as much luck. It's, uh, it's like a half day hunt because you just get choked out by other guys and uh, leaves you nothing really to do, nowhere else to go. I kind of prefer to be out and uh, make a full day of it every time I come out. So I'll uh, look on the maps and find something tomorrow. I got about 1,200 feet still to drop down. Kind of just making time now and doing a little shed hunting on my way out. So hopefully I'll come across to a bone. All right, guys. Good morning. Morning to day two. 
Um, trying out a new area up north from where I was at yesterday. Jim did a little bit of e-scouting yesterday and sent me a pin on a spot that was, uh, he found a road that cut through a bunch of private property and then uh, dead ended back up in the national forest area. So, um, and uh, all ridges into this area are all, uh, there's no roads anywhere near us. So, um, drove out here. Uh, didn't try to be the first one here because I didn't want to come in in the dark. Uh, but uh, I am, so that's a good sign. There's nobody else here. Hopefully that's not a sign of that the hunting's bad, but I can't imagine one area is different than another in this uh, general region. So I'm sure there's deer here. Um, probably because it's a little bit more rugged here. A uh, little bit, little bit, well, probably just about as steep as it was yesterday, but uh, quite a bit more rock and uh, timber. So, but I can see a lane up the, the hill behind me. Got a good 1,500 feet or so to the top of the ridge, and then it kind of keeps cresting after that. So, I'm going to try to pull some elevation and, and put some eyes on the ground and see what's moving around. Well, just a couple hundred feet up. I'm seeing some deer sign, so that's good. See a somewhat fresh bed right in front of me. Pine cones everywhere, but nice, clear. Some f small, fresh tracks in there. Probably not a buck bed, but still, it's a good sign. I'm gonna try to get up on top of this ridge and then work to my uh, to my west. So. Looks like it opens up even further up there, so. All right, check in a little bit. Finally got a little, little action. Like three doe up here on this hill. I'm gonna keep eyes on them for a little bit, then I'm gonna keep creeping up, trying to, try not to bump them. Well, I ended up uh, side hilling up the side of the finger and got up parallel to those deer. There was five five of them total. Got it was a 286 in range, but uh no bucks with them. Something wasn't me. They weren't looking over here towards me, but something made them feel uneasy and they kind of skirted up over the hill. So I'm gonna climb that ridge there behind me and walk it over a few more fingers and try to get above something with the glass. Well, I ended up uh, spotting another hunter coming down the ridge, uh, the main ridge, and so he must have started way up the top somewhere. And uh, so I made it up a couple more fingers and I got set up just in case he was gonna bump anything over this, this next one. And uh, really good spot. Um, lot to glass and look at, just a lot of distance to cover. Two, uh, two doe ended up bouncing over the ridge, um, about six, seven hundred yards below me. They were definitely running from something, so I'm guessing it could have been him maybe that maybe pushed him out off the top. So, uh, I'm going to push over, take a look over what's on the other side of that one, and I'm going to probably start wrapping back down around and try to get out of here. I'm already kind of questioning my route out because uh, the bottoms of these uh, this canyon's kind of cliffed out a bit. So uh, it could be a shady, shady trip out. A lot of steep side hill, maybe. So, all right, I'll check in later. Just an idea how rugged this ground is. Makes it extremely tough to hunt. That's why you can sit here and glass for days. Finding anything within range and how to get to it with some of this, this rock and these this steep finger ridges. It's just difficult. It's difficult to move around. All right guys, morning to day three. Final day, buck down day. Yesterday was a was a just a steep hill grind. Um, 
they call it chasing ghosts but yesterday was <clears throat> it was so steep it made it kind of hard to hunt over there so got really sketchy getting out of there I was glad I ended up getting out before dark um, I don't think I would have got off that hill um, in the dark so but uh, picked a different spot same general area this morning and uh, lower able to probably cover a lot more ground today which is kind of like how I, I prefer to hunt so hoping to cover you know 10 miles or so through some of these rolling hills down here um, looks a lot lot more huntable kind of terrain so a lot of timber a lot of spots from the hide but uh, seen a lot of deer tracks on the side of the roads coming in here this morning so um, there's other guys in here hunting so goes to tell you there's deer here all right guys first three spots I want to check to uh, jump in at there's already guys there and I see more trucks driving around guys up on the hills glassing from their rigs and it's definitely a popular area which hopefully that's a good sign it's, I guess it's good that dudes are out pounding the ground too because they might jump jump them keep them moving um, bad beginnings happy endings that's what Jim always says and so um, I feel pretty good about this little spot I got there's it's a pretty big chunk without any roads in the center of it so I am walking on some track from yesterday some two track so guys already been in here harassing them but again that might just get them up and keep them moving so all right we'll check in later And we got eyes on a buck. He's <clears throat> about 550, 600, and the most I can put on him is a two point. All right, guys. So I watched that buck funnel out. It looked like he bed down into a patch of little brush up there in the corner. So Jim always says never leave deer to go find deer. So while this guy might not be much more than a legal buck, um, where I'm at today, first buck I've seen in three days, I think I'm gonna make it play up try to circle up I'm gonna cut up this draw and uh, try to grab a ridge finger above him see if I can't sneak up a, a bit closer and maybe get uh, a better vantage when he gets back up out of his bed so um, there's a lot of dudes I'm sp spotted two more uh, orange vests up on the hill um, up here behind me so but, uh, yeah, let's make a play on this buck. All right, guys, I got back with it. I spotted that buck bed down over here. I got him at 170-ish. But I can't, I can't put a, an eye guard on him. He's just a big two-point. Um, so I came back to my back. I'm going to try to sneak back over. I don't got a great spot to take a shot, but it's the only angle I got.
All right, guys. Well, looks like my rifle's a little off, shooting a little high. Um, I don't know if that's just me or if I banged it up coming out through that brush and coming down that hill last last night. Fell down quite a few times. Also, didn't have quite the, a great rest here, making lots of excuses, but clearly overshot him the first time. Replayed it, shot right over his back. I had a small window. I was just aiming for basically. The top part of his back and uh, um, stood up looks like on the second shot I just barely spined him and uh, uh, he's stopped kicking now so I think uh, I think he's done but uh, buck down whoo man they make you earn them around here thankful for these opportunities well, let's just go hopefully uh, hopefully he died relatively quick so it didn't take long for him to stop moving. All right, I'll turn this off, go grab my pack, and I'm gonna start heading down that direction. Okay, there he is. Nice, good body, big body. Turned out to be a four by three. From a distance, I couldn't make those two little crab claws out. And with the brush, I almost missed them. So, happy, accomplished, and uh, now, now the fun begins. I've got to hike down, out down the bottom of this center down there. Pan played off, spotted him. He was one of those things that every guy knows, like, uh, right moment, right time. And when I was first hiking up, had I not cleared that, that previous summit and put eyes on him, when I did, five minutes later, he was he was out of sight and uh, never to be seen again today, by me at least. And uh, I uh, thought I had a good look at him. I thought he was just a clean two, but I was hoping he might've had an eye guard, which that's what up above, I was staring at him through my rifle scope and. And uh, my binos on my on my knees, and I couldn't make out an eye guard. And sure enough, he's he's doesn't have any eye guards. But uh, made a plan, hiked up around him, and uh, uh, actually went one finger over too far. So then I had to hike back and came back down to where I thought he last was. And uh, sure enough, somehow I spotted him bedded down before he uh, had a chance to spot me. Uh, Kind of the way the train was, I had nothing to use as a rest. I ended up laying the, the rifle barrel over a tiny little tree limb on the side of a burned out little pine tree. But uh, again, not happy with the shots, but uh, end, end result the All same. All right, guys, that was a lot of work. Man, I uh, say I really miss Jim. It's, <laughs> he's a... Uh, He's an animal when it comes down to, to breaking these animals apart. So, uh, but I got it done a couple hours later and I uh, first load on my back, second load's hanging in the tree over there and uh, got the horns and half on and getting ready to make the march out of here. So got a lane picked out and hopefully it's a good lane and get back up here and grab this extra other half soon. So check back in later. All right guys. We'll close out. Thanks for uh, joining with me this week. It's a uh, it's a grind out here chasing these ghosts, and uh, three hard days. It's a uh, it's kicking myself that I don't got Jim here with me to experience this, uh, just because the video is not going to give justice to you know how hard it was, how much searching I did looking for this guy. So he's not the one I was hoping for. I was hoping for that one we're always hoping for, but. It's a good buck and uh you know it's not easy getting away to me it's not about killing it's about the experience and you know today was a good hunt had i uh even if he wasn't a shooter buck or had i had i missed that second time too 
um, it was a good hunt, you know. Spotted something, put a stock on it, got up, got into shooting range. It was a good hunt, and uh, not going to pass that up. And because uh, it's not easy getting away from the family, Nicole, she uh, she supports this this habit, and uh, it's always nice to be able to bring something home. So put some extra food on the table for for her and the kids. It's good, organic, good meat. So expensive meat too for how much we put into this so hope you guys liked it um glad i was able to film it as much as i could it's not easy being out here um trying to capture these memories so uh like and subscribe follow us mountain forge hunting uh we got a montana trip coming up should be a good one so stay tuned